you're well and having the most incredible day ever let me know down below what you're up to today i'm obviously spending a day filming it is absolutely pouring it down outside so i'm so sorry if at any point you can hear the rain i'm going to try and keep talking so that you can't hear it but you're probably going to hear it at some point so i do apologize in advance today's video is probably one of the most exciting videos i have filmed in such a long time i'm not even joking I'm so excited. As you can see by the title in today's video, I'm gonna be going through all of the lush spoilers for Halloween and Christmas. And I am honestly so excited to read this list. You have no idea, no idea. If you guys don't wanna know the spoilers for lush Halloween and Christmas, then I would recommend leaving this video. Don't watch it. I don't wanna ruin your guys' Halloween and Christmas. So please don't watch it if you don't wanna hear spoilers. But I imagine if you clicked on this video, you wanna hear the spoilers, so. Enjoy. One more thing before I get into this video, I would like to say that I got this idea from my amazing, amazing YouTube pal, Gwen in Real Life. Go and subscribe to her. She's absolutely amazing, and I haven't watched her video yet because I didn't want to ruin this for myself. But yeah, make sure you go and give her a subscribe because I absolutely love her, and obviously, I don't want to take credit for this video. It was her idea, so go and subscribe to Gwen. So I'm basically going through an entire list on my phone. There are some pictures as well, so if I scroll down you can just about see some pictures, but I'm not going to look at those. Shut my eyes. Um, but yeah, basically I'm going to go through the list, I'm going to see if there's any photos, and I'm going to describe to you what they look like. So without further ado, let's go on to the bath bombs first. So the first bath bomb for Halloween is Monsters Ball Bath Bomb. Now this one obviously came out last year, it smells like Calacus, and I absolutely I'm in love with it. It's one of my also favourites, so I'm so excited that that one is coming back. The next bath bomb is called Pumpkin Pumpkin, and that looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. I might have to turn my brightness up a little bit, but it looks like that. And I basically am not going to screenshot these to put in the video because they're really, really, really blurry pictures. So I will leave this list in the description if you want to go and have a little look yourselves. But that basically looks like a squished pumpkin and it probably smells amazing. It's got things like pumpkin powder, mandarin oil, orange oil. So I imagine it's going to smell very similar to the pumpkin bath bomb last year, but it just looks a little bit different. So really, really excited to give that one a smell. I cannot wait. The next one for Halloween is obviously Lord of Misrule. Thank the heavens that that one's coming back. I feel like there would be an absolute rampage if it didn't come back. So yeah, really, really excited that that one's come back. The next bath bomb is one that I've never heard before. And I don't know whether this is Christmas or Halloween. I'm not too sure. But this one is called Mercury Retrograde Bath Bomb. And I don't know if there's any photos let me just have a little scroll through because there's some photos like at the bottom and i don't want to ruin it for myself oh okay yep yeah, no i found one so mercury retrograde is basically this one i don't know if you guys can see it very well it's got like a green and purple and red kind of situation going on that looks really really pretty and i think in the water that's going to look stunning there's no list of ingredients so i have no idea what it's going to smell like so that one is going to be an absolute surprise for everyone because i've got no idea what that smells like then we have the shoot for the stars bath bomb golden wonder and luxury lush pud all of three came out last year you can see them on my channel in all the haul videos they've been out for a while so go and give those ones a watch if you want to see those ones like in real life. Uh, then we have the Luxury Lush Put Giant Bath Bomb, which again has no photos, I don't think. Let me just double check. I don't think there's any pictures of it though. I imagine it's just, oh no, here we go. This is what it looks like. So it's a giant Luxury Lush Put with kind of salt inside or something i don't know it doesn't tell me what's inside but it kind of looks like bath salts so that one's really nice and that's exactly how i imagined it in my head so really really excited for that one and i cannot wait to get one to be honest i'm gonna buy everything so gonna be poor as per <laughs> we then have the snow fairy bath bomb which has probably been out many many a time it smells like snow fairy so a classic can't go wrong with that we then have the world smallest disco bath bomb which again i'm pretty sure came out last year i think it was the black one with the colored dots on so that one's back out again jingle bells bath bomb which i don't know whether that one's new or not jingle bells bath bomb apparently smells very similar to karma so let me know down below if that came out last year because i honestly can't remember so yes then we have the fly me to the moon bath bomb which apparently smells like the never mind the ballistics bath bomb so really looking forward to that one that one's going to smell incredible really fresh and fruity as well then we have don't let the bells end bath bomb which apparently smells like happy blooming so you lang you lang and almond oil fragrance basically uh then we have the pop art bath bomb which if i click that it should oh no it doesn't tell me it just comes up with the ingredients and apparently it's sea salt and popping candy is that it 
it doesn't really say anything about the fragrance at all so that one's going to be a mystery as well the next one is the Chris the Camel Bath Bomb which apparently resembles the Santa's Christmas Bath Bomb and it looks like that so it's a cute little camel which is really sweet then we have the Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb and this one looks very similar to the Snowman Shower Jelly so it looks like that I don't know if again if you guys can see it or not um, I don't want to put these in the like, on the screen because they're not very good pictures I just don't think you'll get a very good idea but like I said I will leave it down below so you guys can have a little rummage yourself as well then we have the not so secret Santa bath bomb again there's no photo but in terms of ingredients it's lemon lemon myrtle oil cream of tartar basically so that one will be quite nice really fresh I would imagine then we have the Rudolph bath bomb which again no photo but it apparently has cocoa butter Cassie Absolute, Cream of Tartar and Rose. So I imagine that one being really nice and like fresh. So that one will be really nice. Then we have the Santa's Grotto Bath Bomb. Again, no photo, uh, but this one has sea salt, popping candy, ylang ylang, Cream of Tartar. That one will be quite nice too. Then we have the Fireball Bath Bomb, which apparently is the Magic of Christmas scented, which I loved because the Magic of Christmas was the bath wand that was orange. And I think I bought about seven of those. I'm not even lying. Like I bought a lot of those. So yeah, really excited to smell that one. Then we have the Santa bath bomb, which I think, did that come out last year? I can't remember, but that one has orange oil and Tonka Absolute, so that one will be really, really nice. And then finally, for bath bombs, we have the Elf bath bomb, which apparently smells like Elf on the shelf. So yes, that is all the bath bombs. I've obviously shown you the ones I can show you, but a lot of them don't have photos. So um, yeah, but definitely when you're done with this video, go and have a look, because if you scroll down, there is quite a lot of photos they're just not kind of they don't have any names if you know what i mean like here like there's a lot but they don't have any names on them so i have no idea what's what um but yeah now moving on to bath oils so i have a feeling this video is going to be really long so i'm really sorry in advance um but so the first bath oil is the cinnamon orange bath oil which as you can probably guess by the name it smells like cinnamon and orange so that one's going to be really nice and christmasy i can imagine then we have the retro tree bath oil which has Cream of tartar, beeswax, um, shea butter, grapefruit oil, lemon myrtle oil. So again, probably really nice and refreshing. So that is what it looks like. It's just a white little thing with a tree. We then have the Santa's on his way bath oil, which looks like this. And it has a little tiny chimney with Santa kind of getting stuck in it, which is really sweet. And that one is shea butter, tangerine oil. So I imagine that smell very similar to the dashing Santa bath bomb, which we had a few years ago. We then have the snowman bath oil, which looks like that, which is blue with a little white snowman and this one smells like again sheer butter capucci butter lemon oil so again really fresh and nothing too heavy I wouldn't imagine then we have the warm sock bath oil which there is no photo for this one but this one has orange oil in it and corn oil so again probably really fresh and citrusy then we have the Dala horse bath oil which smells apparently like Sicilian red mandarin oil so probably really fruity again i feel like they're all very similar they're very orangey so far and then we have the igloo bath oil which oh my god is adorable it's actually a tiny little igloo bath oil so cute and that one smells apparently like wild orange oil coconut oil and peppermint oil so I imagine that being really nice and refreshing as well but yeah those are all the bath oils so now moving on to bubble bars <laughs> so bubble bar wise the bewitch bubble bar and the sparkly pumpkin both of which came out last year you guys know what they look like I've mentioned them in many videos so again feel free to go and have a little rummage of those we then have the magic wand reusable bubble bar and the candy cane reusable bubble bar which both again came out last year and again we have the Santa reusable bubble bar which I think if it's not new it'll be very similar to the one from last year which was like the little Santa face with the hat so that one came out last year so I imagine it's very similar however this one has lime oil and neroli so it's going to smell very similar to frozen I think we then have the Yognog bubble bar which again we had last year and everyone absolutely fell in love with I was a very 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 big fan of the Yognog bubble bar so I'm glad that's come back and then finally we have the polar bear plunge bubble bar which apparently is sea salt and peppermint so that's going to be super fresh as well so those are all the bubble bars there's usually more bath bombs than anything else at christmas and halloween so i feel like i've done the main bulk of it already but now we're moving on to body conditioners so we have the snow fairy body conditioner which obviously is snow fairy scented oh my goodness yognog body conditioner my prayers have been answered, guys. I'm going to smell like a cupcake. I'm so excited. I'm buying, like, 20 of them. I'm not even joking. Yognog body conditioner and Yognog naked body conditioner. Mm. I'm going to smell like a cake. 
I'm so excited. I think I'm most excited about that so far. So those are all the body conditioners. Obviously there's no Chris Dingle or no sleepy body conditioner, but they've brought me out a Yognog one, so I'm not complaining. I'm so excited for that. I'm honestly gonna buy 30 of them and smell like a giant cupcake. I don't even care. Moving on to body products now, we have the Snowflake Naked Body Lotion, which apparently smells like snow cake, so that's going to smell amazing. Once Upon a Time Body Lotion, which is so white scented. Let It Snow Sparkle Bar, which smells like Sleepy and Twilight. We have the Fairy Dusting Powder, which obviously smells like Snow Fairy. Sleepy Dusting Powder, which smells like Twilight again. And the Snow Fairy Body Spray, which obviously smells like Snow Fairy. So those are mainly things that have been out before, so those will be very, very nice. However, I've just looked on the face section. <gasps> I need a minute. Pumpkin Spice Lip Scrub. Sorry. Honestly, I'm going to order 10. I'm not even joking. That's going to taste amazing. So, face-wise, Pumpkin Spice Lip Scrub. Can't get over that. Galaxy... Galaxy Lip Scrub? Hold on. <gasps> oh, okay. Galaxy Lip Scrub. Jehovah Oil. Shea Butter. Raspberry Seed Oil. Lemon. If this tastes like... If this taste tastes like blue cherry, I'm honestly, or blue raspberry, I'm going to lose my... <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Next we have Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. Okay, boring, had that last year. Moving on, Candy Cane Toothpaste Jelly. Sorry, toothpaste jelly? Is there a picture? No, gonna buy it though, obviously. Boosh de Noel Facial Cleanser, had that before. Rudolph Face, Rudolph Jelly Face Mask. I think that came out a few years ago, but they've brought it into a jelly version, so I'll give it a go. Snow Fairy Glow Stick, what is that? Is there any pictures? Probably not. What is a Snow Fairy Glow Stick? doesn't even tell me. If you guys know, let me know because that sounds amazing. Next up we have soaps. So we have Ghost in the Dark Soap, which I imagine is the Avo Bath scented. Yes it is. Night Bloom Soap, which apparently is junk scented. I have no idea what that is, but that is like a little moon. So that's really cute. Um, and that one has lemon oil, rosemary oil and sage in it. So I don't know if I'm going to like that one too much. Then we have Golden Pear Soap, which is obviously Golden Pear scented. Butter Bear Soap, sorry that sounds amazing, there's no photos though but that will obviously smell like Butter Bear so gonna get about seven of those. Winter Berry Soap which looks like this which is really nice, obviously I think they had that last year though, I can't remember. Um, Snow Apple Soap which is so white scented, hello. Snow Fairy Soap which obviously we have every year, Baked Alaska, Shooting Stars Soap and Satsuma. So okay, so there's quite a few new ones but I'm really excited anyway because I love, love me a good soap. Shower Bombs, we have the Rudolph Nose Shower bomb which looks like that so very exciting and that one smells like lemon and Howwood apparently so that one will be really nice. Polar Bear Nose Shower Bomb which is literally like a little black one obviously and uh, that one has sandalwood and pine in it so that one will be really nice and we have the Snowman Nose Shower Bomb which I imagine will look like a carrot but it doesn't show me a photo and that one has orange and spearmint in it so that one will be really fresh as well. Moving on to shower gels now so we have the Boo Shower Slime which is a black slimy thing which apparently smells like bam what it has bamboo steam stem i can't read bamboo stem extract and there is literally nothing else in it that could even make me think what that smells like so i'm excited to give that one a go then we have yognog shower yognog shower gel yognog naked shower gel i'm dumb I don't want anything else, I'm happy. Happy shower gel, which apparently resembles not the not sleepy shower bomb scent, which has neroli and lemon in it. Then we have the happy naked shower gel. Snow fairy naked shower gel, snow fairy shower gel, um, which obviously are both snow fairy scented. Then moving on to the shower jellies, we have Santa's belly shower jelly, which again smells like so white. Drummer's drumming shower jelly, which apparently is grapefruit and divana oil and it has peach in it, so that'll probably smell really good. Silver Bell Shower Jelly, which again, this one has lime oil, orange oil, and again, really fruity. And 12 Herbs of Christmas Shower Jelly, which I can guarantee you right now, I am not gonna like it. So probably gonna buy it anyway for a video. Probably won't like it though, so we'll see. And lastly, I'm gonna go through all of the fun. Now I'm not gonna go through all the gifts because that'll take ages, and to be honest with you, I feel like that would just get really, really, really boring. So finally, fun-wise, we have Glow Worm Fun, which apparently smells like Avo Bath. There is no photos, and I'm just like, honestly gonna be so shook if it glows in the dark. So gonna get that. Ruby Fun, which apparently is a party shop exclusive. The same with Frosty Fun, Fairy Fun and Holly Fun. Magic Lamp Fun Kit, which apparently you get, which is snow showers and celebrate scented. And Snow Fairy Fun Kit, which apparently is snow fairy scented. So that is everything that is coming out for Halloween 
and Christmas. So definitely go and check this. This is on the ohmylush.com website. Um, I will leave this link down below so you guys can go and have a little look at all the photos because I wouldn't want to link these photos to a product in case I get it wrong. Um, but they have some really cool looking things on here that I just think you guys need to have a little look at. So definitely go and check this out. I'll leave it in the description below. But yes, that is everything that's coming out for Halloween and Christmas 2019 mind blown. So I'm going to go and just calm myself down because honestly the fact that we're getting a Yognog shower gel and a Yognog body conditioner has honestly had me, I'm shook, I'm shook. I just, I'm so excited. I want all of it. I'm going to buy it all and I'm going to film a video obviously. So make sure you're ready for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. As soon as it's online, I will be ordering it all and filming it for you guys. So I hope you guys had a really great time sitting here with me and learning all about the new Lush products that are coming out. I'm so excited. I would love to know down below what your favourite product that I've talked about was. So mine's obviously the Yognog. Let me know yours. And obviously the lip scrubs as well. Oh, I just, I want it all. I'm so excited. Honestly, so excited. But yes, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.